All right, boys. So, I was just uh, mowing this yard right here. I was right down there. And I could hear a little bit of a something noise. Just like a... Maybe sound like one of the bearings on one of the pulleys. Maybe starting to make a little noise. Not, not, it was real quiet though. And then I was down there, down there all the way down at the end by that next house mowing strip down there. And it just, you could tell that the, uh, the blades started to hit. Because they're timed. The blades on these are timed. It has, they only go in one spot so that they don't hit each other. But, uh, yeah. They were still running, but they're, check that out right there. You see that? Oh yeah. Here, hang on, let me just try to hold this up with my foot. You see that? I mean, these things, man. Yeah, not good. So they hit, as soon as they started hitting each other, you know, I just let go of the bar and turned the blades off, but I'm going to have to, uh, see what's going on there on the top it's the second season with this thing it's got a lot of hours on it uh not nearly as much as my commercial one i've ran it for like four or five years zero issues so anyway i'll keep you updated once i get a chance i'm gonna have to finish this yard try to be careful and finish it with this and uh, i'll try to open this up when we get home as soon as i can I think it's actually the same pulley on the Turf Master and the Time Master, but maybe this wears out the pulleys faster because it does have more blade speed and everything with this newer engine. Just a thought. Alright boys, so there you have it. When me and River open this up, this was just laying right there like that. And as you can see, here's some of the little balls that are part of this bearing. You know, that ride inside of that. A couple of them here. So, yeah, they go inside of here. So literally that just, it uh, bit the dust. So we need to get this off. I might have to remove this bracket, you know, I don't know. But we need to get that off so that we can, uh, put a new one on you know not too complicated at all and uh this one feels good but uh so it's just this i just wonder if there's a bolt inside i don't know if i'll have to take off the whole bracket to get under it we'll have to see all right boys so the nut on the bottom of this is just spinning on that, so we got to remove this bracket. Yeah, so River's talking about the little balls that we found. The so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mark, you know, with my sharpie right here, so I can mark how, you know, what the tightness of this bolt was. That way, when we put all this back and I put the new pulley on, the tension would be the exact same as it was. So you just gotta remove these two half-inch screws. One right there, one right there, and then also we're gonna have to remove this setup right here so we can take the bracket out, so let's do that. Time Master and Turf Master is what I mean with the pulley thing, and um, yeah, thank y'all for being patient because River helps a lot of my videos just because when I get home, he wants to come out and be with me anyway, and uh, plus I want to give Emmy a break, so don't think I have River in my videos just because I think my kid is like super cute or something because, you know, it's not that, um, but he's a helper for me. So we got the bracket off and I just put that back so I could see exactly how it was. No big deal, made my little mark with the Sharpie on the bolt. And then this, this is on the top. Put this on like the top. Like this. And take it from my very house. Yeah, <laughs> this is on the top just like this. So we're gonna take this off. And and so we're gonna save this sleeve because that's what goes for this. This is, the, this is what's inside of the pulley. So, so we're gonna put this back like that. Like that. Uh, 
for my awful channel. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh man. That's a helper out here and he tries to he video tries too. The, uh segment. Need to for my So here's our stuff. All we gotta do is go on eBay, look for the part. I'm sure it'll be easy. That's um, be easy. I wonder But the bulls are easy too. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if it's the same as this. I find the ball. It looks the same, you know. Uh, I wonder if these pulleys are the same because that would make it even easier to find it. And so, what I think happens? Where'd it go? I'm trying to look for it. I have this little black plastic piece. Oh, right here. So I guess this, maybe this goes on the top to try to help. Maybe this goes on the top of the. Uh, Way to try to help keep the dirt out of there because i think what happens is is your dirt your dirt goes in here and then it ends up destroying the bearing so yeah i know it's a common thing with these uh um time master but all right boys so got two in the mail from ebay 35 bucks for a two pack even comes with the new little sleeve part, which you don't really need because I'll just use the stock on the little metal piece that goes in there. Insert, whatever you want to call it. And it comes with the new little snap piece to put on the top. That black part. Keep the dirt out, like I was saying, to think. Um, but I'll explain it more even at the end. But you put those two bolts in the frame so that it can glide back and forth. But then even once you get your timing right, um, cause you gotta have it loose to move the timing a little bit and it's really hard to get it around that pulley even with the bracket slid all the way out to its loosest, loosest position. Um, so what I end up having to do is loosen up the other pulley to, you know, take, a take tension off and, um, and that does work. Um, like I said, that's what I had to do. Uh, you got to have it free moving so you can get that bolt tightened. Because the bolt kind of goes, kind of are up underneath of that pulley a little bit. So like you have to kind of slide it in and then put the bolt in the frame and let it slide back out. Um, it's tight up in there to get the ratchet or anything. But it does work. This is me just trying to do that timing again. Um, one blade up and one blade sideways, so they miss each other. River's constantly trying to mess with the camera, and I was having to tell them that we're not going to touch that again. Had to get um, a little stern with him, but he did good. He did pretty good overall. But so, so we got it. Finally got it in, and uh, yeah, it was it's pretty easy. So. I'll explain more about what I did right now. All right, boys, so at the end, I'm just double checking that I got my uh, time correct. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but that one's straight up. This one's down, that way they miss each other. And uh, I'm gonna have to take the blades off here and try to put them on the sharpener and try to fix this edge because it's pretty bad. It's hard to tell because it's on the tripod. I can't get it real close, but as you can see, yeah, it's messed up pretty good. A couple of places, but anyway, we got it done. Um, as you've probably seen, you have to loosen this one a little to be able to get that one. Uh, just to get the belt over the rim of this pulley. Um, because even once you get these two bolts into the frame... Even with it slid all the way out, you can't get the belt around this rim because you see how the pulley, it sticks out like quarter, quarter or a half an inch, this gold part on the top. And so it's hard to get it around there. So what I ended up doing, and it did work, is I loosened up this one a bunch. And then I got it, got it on there. You know, still with it all the way 
out as far as it can go with the two screws into the frame. Um, and then I tighten this one back up, but I made sure that I reset the timing first because when the belt's loose, you can, because you know, as you can see, this belt is ribbed. So when the, uh, you know, when it's looser, you can turn the blade and kind of work it around. I kind of worked it around that one, as y'all probably saw, got it, you know, used my hand, squeeze it, got a little loose so I could jump, so I could jump a tooth or two on there to get it, get the timing how we want. So, yeah, that's what I did. And, uh, and I adjusted it back to where I made the mark, but I think even if you didn't mark it, you kind of feel like you want it kind of, kind of tight, but not too tight where it's straining, you know, extra strain on the pulleys, but yeah, kind of tight, you know, a little bit of, little bit of, little bit of give there, but really no way it could jump the tooth. So we need to take the blades off and sharpen them, but first, let's, me and River will take it out there, out front, and just uh, make sure that we did it correctly. So, moment of truth. There you have it. You seen it real time. There was no hitting or anything. And uh I think we got it going. So these are great mowers and once you kind of figure out that you're going to have to loosen this one even to get it in there. Um really wasn't much to it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a very simple mower. Um I like it actually. Look Look at this. Oh man, I gotta replace that. Uh, I just noticed that, but look right here. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But you see that? You're not gonna be able to tell. Hang on, I'm gonna bend it. Look at that. So, so you know, that's not gonna last long. So. I better replace that. I actually have one over there as a backup one that was on the Turf Master that I took off. I replaced the one on the Turf Master a long time ago because it was, uh, you know, I was just doing it as a maintenance thing because I noticed it was pretty bad. Um, so the one I, I have a backup one, but it has a big crack too. Not quite as bad as that, but pretty big. So I need to just go in and order this belt too. I have replaced this before, and now uh, you gotta take off this guy. Maybe I'll do another video on that because I, I didn't even know that till right now. But I guess I'm gonna be replacing that too. So, <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I have to pop that other belt off and work it up in there and uh, put that on. So, yeah. Thank you guys. We appreciate you.